Welcome to Board Games Daddy. Today, a game that is very trendy now, Hidden Leaders. Hidden Leaders is a card game uh, with an interesting mechanic. You represent a faction or two factions, and basically you want to um, influence the game in order for it to end in a way that favors you. Okay, so the cover is upside down with the back. And this is a Kickstarter edition. Kickstarter edition. And I will show you the difference for the normal one. Basically, you will see there is a, a, a central board where the action happens and some the deck where you draw your cards and the market. And I will explain how it works while we go through what's in the box. The Emperor died and now the rivals are at war. All the factions want to win. And this is a plus 10 for ages and 30 minutes, depending on the number of players, and could go up to six. six. Okay, so hidden leaders. Let's take a look and start commenting. So this guy is the emperor. It looks like the, the king from House of the Dragon because he's very old, he's very sick, and suddenly he died. And the game starts there. I don't know what this thing is. Is it a sword that he's holding? It seems like something heavy. If the king holds a sword like this, although the sword is like in the ground. Oh, it's a sword indeed. There's the hand. I've never seen the hand there. So there's the grip here. And the guy is not holding the sword. He is holding himself with the sword, not to fall on the ground. And these six guys that you see on the back, those are the hidden leaders hidden leaders which will represent the factions and you choose you will randomly pick one of them to start the game so who is this guy i don't know is it one of the leaders hmm. and who is this guy girl i don't know as well maybe characters from the game in the cards this guy is from a card i recognize him so the game has lots lots of cards and then you have the board and let me show you how it works. So by the way, this is a Kickstarter edition because you have the expansion. These are some cards that come through, which include the queens. The queens, okay. I'm going to show you. These are some cards um, stored here. Um, but I'm, I'm going to show you so interesting here, which is there is a... <laughs> genealogic tree from the emperor he has like three queens no, go figure and each queen they have like are they like the sons mm, i don't know this one resembles that queen indeed and mm, black guy mm, go figure as well and then you have another queen Seraph seraphia which has the opportunists and this guy at least they are a uh, faction with this queen and another queen, which is a red-haired. This girl should be related indeed. And this girl as well. Okay. And and so this is a very small expansion. As you can see, it has only the queens, nine additional heroes, and five, eight, eight cards, 18 cards. So it's like a booster. But I don't think this is sold separately. So if you want the full thing, you should always try to find the Kickstarter edition, okay? And there is another expansion coming next year, which will add more cards. These are the cards that come in, no, sorry, not the cards that come inside, I'm storing inside, but for you to understand uh, quickly how this game works. So there are four factions, the Hill Tribes, the Undead, the Waterfolk, and the Imperial Army, which represents by, rep as represented by the symbols here and the colors. So for the hill trap to win in the end of the game, um, the military icon must be um, at least two steps ahead, uh, behind, right? The green needs to be two steps ahead. However, for the imperial to win, they need to be one step ahead of the hill tribes. So old, oh, there's the guy we see in the box. All the the, the conditions for factory victory or outposts so only one can win and then you have the water guys that needs to have the two factions in the same place or just regardless of which one is in front they need to be separated by just 
one space. Maybe these guys don't care about the fights, they just need to be peace between the factions. And last but not least are the undead. They need both to be in the dark zone for the undead to win. Okay, so this is a very interesting mechanic. I'm going to try to um, expose to you how this works. I hope I can get it because it's a very interesting game. Okay, so let's start by the manual. It has the cover again. It has that kind of material which is not normal paper. It's um, texturized paper in the cover. All the cards itself, they have this texture. So I don't know what this is, but... Oh, it's just on one side. This sign, you see? You see from the glare? Let's see if I can show you. You see the texture there? There, but it's only on this side because here it's it's smooth, <laughs> strange kind of paper. Okay, so very good manual, images, and how the game adjusts to the number of players. Okay, and again the, the conditions for winning. If there are ties, then there are ties because once the the end game is triggered, more than one. Uh, faction may more than one hero more than one player maybe uh, in, a, in a place that allows them to win okay so these are the hidden leaders the six guys and so you can see that for each faction there is always three three blacks three reds three blues and three greens right so green ones and if, if we are playing with six these three guys would be candidates to win the game like this these three guys and then there is there are conditions to to see of which of them in fact is the winner based on the number of heroes you have for this faction the number of cards you played etc in the end ultimately if there is still a tie there is a very unjust in, in unfair um criteria which is one that has the highest number i believe wins so that's like throwing a, a coin something like that so, in the beginning of the game, you start randomly pick one of these guys and say, Oh, so, no one knows, but I'm Ziadul the Cunning. So, I need to make sure that the game ends with red or black. Doesn't matter. At least one of them needs to be the winning faction. So, in order that to happen, you will have cards on your hand. I'm sure I'm going to show you a bit. And you will play those cards in the table. And when you do that, you do the effects. On your turn you do the effects that you have here like this guy would move the markers the markers you saw it would move plus two on the red or plus two on the green so you need to strategically know which card you should play or buy because you'll have cards available here in the market to buy so if if the game was like this for example and you play this card you would move either two on the green or two on the red see this is a plus so they move towards when it's plus 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 they move towards um, adding up but sometimes sometimes they can go back like this guy you could move the red to one or you can move back the green one and then you have effects on the cards which you pick character you pick players you apply the effects so you can bury their heroes because the game ends when the a player places his fifth hero when that happens the game ends let's see what is a faction winning in this case if the game ended like this it was going to be the blue because they are in the same space and then we see between the blue players who wins okay so let's take a look here because there are some funny cards let's see if we can find them turtle nocti necromancer emperor's best friend so the gold ones they are imperial cards and you need to see what they do. So this guy is affiliated with black. Um, well shaved wizard. The firm fishmonger. Sanguine scholar. The art, the art is so cool. I love this art. Gambling overseer. Grumpy guard. Insidious impeller. Wow. Very graphic. Vegetarian shark. Gorth. Wow. Of sliced ghoul. 
half sliced. Oh, she is sliced indeed there. So, yeah. A pathetic water breeze. Okay. Before you ask, yes, Cthulhu is in this game. Cthulhu is everywhere. Half eaten bull. So the zombies are <laughs> always eaten. Blunge going, a uh, blunge uning blow feast. Short sighted soldier. <laughs> Short sighted soldier. <laughs> Doesn't see much. Sunshine skeleton. That's why he has a sombrero to protect himself. Deep sea squire. So this guy was in the cover. Androgynous assassin. Is it a man or a female? Depressed druid. It's a bull. It looks depressed indeed. Battle Pet Master. Battle Pet Ma Oh, this is a Pokemon thing, right? There's the duck. Is it a Pokemon joke? Battle Pet. Heart Bending Bard. Okay, where's the joke here? So she's playing and this guy is collecting money. Okay. Potato Privateer. Furious Frog. Gorgeous Gorgon, Gorgeous Gorgon, Cane Champion, Can Champion, Can because he is inside a, an armor, Doubtful Priest, <laughs> Doubtful, why is that Doubtful? I don't get it and I don't understand what is magic art. Hmm. Lethargic Leech, Lethargic, so this is a Chinese hat. Leech, so he had like a curse uh, paper. Okay, will bending witch, will bending witch. Okay, snake. I just see a snake. What's this guy? Hopeful salamander. Okay, waterfall here. Joyless chief. Is it an Indian? Groggy preacher. Groggy preacher. Don't get it. Underwater artist. So he's painting underwater. Triple sword lizard, oh, three swords, he has four arms, three swords. Careful chameleon, it's a ninja, it's a ninja. L Larry lizard, nagging northman, it's a viking guy. King koi, so this is a koi, like a, a carp, like magic carp. King, king koi, king. Kind King Slayer, Kind King Slayer, hmm. Half Headed Lizard, Keeper of Discord. So this is a Dragon Guard, Krill Keeper. Okay, so Krill is that that small thing whales eat. Resilient Reach Guard. Wait, him. Arrow Gant Skeleton. Arrow Gant because he has arrows. And there's the Emperor. So the Emperor, the card of the Emperor starts in the graveyard, which are when, when characters are, are, are killed. So he starts here. And if you pick this guy, this counts as one for your factions. There's the Emperor in the throne, the throne room. Okay, so we've just seen, just seen all of the cards. There's the other are here. Okay, so there's a queen. Let me take the chance to explain how the king, queens go. So this queen moves the needle plus two or minus two, and it's a red queen, military queen. But in the end of the game, if you made a party with Mirad and Laron and this queen, she will count two for the winning faction. Okay. So Mira and Lemon are the, 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 the hidden leaders that are affiliated with her. So if you end up, although it will count for red when you get it, in the end of the game, if you have one of these heroes, it will count as two for any of this, not the one that she has. So it's like she was captured by reds, and but by the end of the game, when you win, you win with another faction and she's like free and counts too. And the same thing for the other queens. If you go and see, you'll see that each of the, these names are the descendants that are related with each queen. Pessimistic Willman. Yeah, it looks pessimistic. Spirited Shaman. Humma, 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 hum. Queer Quartermaster. So this game is 
very very broad and very whatever battle connoisseur drinking wine modest monster slayer modest monster oh there's a head there okay almost evil scholar almost evil looks like the emperor for star wars angry priestess wrapped wrapped warrior it's a mummy mummy warrior nightmarish northman blind eye collector blind, oh he has the, the eyes there that he collects pigmented war pig this one looks fun aged well aged warrior watchful witch slaughtered slime it's the gelatinous club and confidential and confident as a kid as a kitchener mummy mistake oh, my, 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 my. there's a teddy bear okay. angry barbarian door careless cartographer goblin cryptographer so cartographer cryptographer, curious cat lover Friendly frog mage, saber to troll, saber to troll, underpaid mercenary, tentacle oracle. There's Cthulhu, nasty granny, granny's ghost, flailing knight with a flail weapon, drowned deserter, shaky sharpshooter, the crown carrier, bored goblin. Long haired loner, saltwater sage, ace fighter, underestimated squire, polar protector. There's a polar bear, resurrected ram, seaweed cutter, miniature merman, merman, and the last one is the curious troll. There you go. This is hidden leaders. One day I hope to have the expansion to also share. Uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow and bring more rarities. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.